you can taste the lemon, the garlic. You can actually taste all the ingredients. That tarragon, mm, it's good. So what I got here is some zucchini that I have went ahead and uh, used a, uh, a potato slicer or carrot slicer, one of them slicers, and sliced it up some. You could use a spiral slicer or just cut them up, but that's how we got it to that particular state there. And we're going to make some <clears throat> shrimp scampi with uh, zucchini noodles. And the zucchini noodles represent a low carb option. As you know, we do do some low carb videos. This should be really good. It's going to be some shrimp. It's going to be zucchini. We're going to have all the other good stuff. So let's get started. First, what I want to do is take a stick of butter. Just got the great value. This is salted butter. I'm going to just take a full stick and we're going to start melting it on the blackstone griddle. There we go. We're getting a nice little spot there. I'm also going to take some olive oil and put on here. And then I went ahead and chopped up one onion. I'm just going to saute that all up in here. This onion is going to bring great flavor. Also going to add a couple cloves of garlic, but you can use regular garlic. I like to cheat, so I I buy the big one of these and we go through a lot of it. And I just always, I just like garlic. No measurements here, maybe even, that's probably more than two. And we're just going to let that cook up. We're kind of on medium. Now, when I did, after we got them noodles uh, set up to where they look like this, I did put them in a towel and sprinkled some salt, some salt all on them, and just letting them set that way. Smells good. I love garlic, the smell of it, those onions coming up through this griddle. Okay, after a couple of minutes, I'm actually, I have about a half of a, uh, of a dill of parsley here, chopped some of it up, and I'm going to sprinkle that all in here. Also got about a, I don't know, half teaspoon of tarragon. Maybe that's a teaspoon, something like that. I'm going to put that in there, mix that in here. Cook it a, a little bit longer. That is the black stone just kind of sweet. It's just awesome. I love this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little lemon on here. Oh gosh, on that, not me. <laughs> Squeezing it the wrong way. There we go. Squeeze on here. Wow, you can smell that lemon now. Then, got a little uh, Sutter Home Chardonnay. Yeah. Now, we don't want the wine to go out of the back of the Blackstone. And we want this to cook down. If you had a bowl, this would be easy. Uh, just make sure when we pour it, we pour it in here. Keep most of it in here. Kind of protect it from leaving. Because we're going to try to use about all this. And we're just going to keep moving it around can't lead toward the front so we keep it kind of more toward the front and the way this thing's set up on well mine it kind of leans this way so just let that cook for about three or four minutes see how there's already a lot less liquid in here starting to soak in cook down a little bit. Well, if you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is John. This is the Oki Smoking Channel headquarters right here in Oklahoma. Going to be a little low-carb keto dish. This actually is going to come out to about, I believe, 
four net carbs. Um, so if you're looking at low carb dishes, this is one you'll want to try. Now I got the shrimp and um, got about a half pound here. I know it's actually about a pound. I got a two pound bag, great value, and took about half the bag. We're gonna throw these right on here and mix all the seasoning in with it. You want the shrimp, as a plane goes overhead, you want the shrimp to uh, soak into all this good seasoning. Those onions. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat up on both sides a little bit. Remember, if you like outdoor cooking and you like what you see, be sure and subscribe. It is quite awesome. Comment too, I challenge you. Comment below, I challenge you to comment. I reply to just about every comment. And I just enjoy, really do enjoy doing this. It's something I like. I like cooking outdoors, making the videos. Well, it's work, but it's fun. And uh, you know, if I enjoy it, why not? Why not do it, right? Starting to get a little pink. I think they're pretty close to done. It don't take long. And they're probably going to keep cooking once I move them over here. So we're going to set them over here. We'll stir them occasionally. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back down to low. Let everything stay on this side. Now it's time for the zucchini and noodles. So for this, I don't have my black pepper. Let me get some black pepper pepper. <laughs> I got the black pepper. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add some olive oil. We've already got this oil, but I'm just going to add a little bit more on this side that we got hot. And uh, we can go ahead and use this one. We're just going to stir that in or put that on real good. Get the heat on medium now. And the final product is going to be the zucchini. <laughs> And that pepper I was looking for, we're going to sprinkle. That makes the zucchini taste good. Yeah, Got to add that pepper. Not measuring, but uh, just going to add some to it. While I got that going, we're going to stir this over here on this side. All right, so here it is. We got the zucchini under the shrimp. I think if the Zucchini it was cut a little thicker. They may look a little more like noodles, but they're... I like them better this way. You like them this way? Okay. What do you think? How's it taste? Good. You like it? Galore says it's good, so I'm going to give it a try right now. You need some Dano spice on it, like I did. Come on. Mm. Dano spice. Hmm. No Dano spice. Is it three net carbs? Three net carbs. So that's really good. That is, that's smacking.